I mean, I could also just use Nine Tails against Blaine, and it's like, oh, your fire type can't do anything, and I can use Quick Attack. But that'll... <laughs> it'll take more than one Quick Attack to take down another Pokemon. At least coming from a Nine Tails. <gasps> Cloyster! Another cool water type. I want to do I want to do a, a water type lock for one of the <sighs> I want to say for one of the newer games, but I really don't know what game it would be good to do that for. Because I want to do newer than newer than sun and moon. So it would have to be It'd have to be Let's Go Eevee, Sword and Shield, or Scarlet and Violet. Uh, which Let's Go Eevee is just Gen 1. A lot of good water types to choose from. But I don't really know... The issue there is I don't know when you can get a water type. I I don't know if... I'd have to have somebody like trade me a water type <laughs> before I could do anything, really. Because... I think the first water type you can encounter is you can encounter Squirtle on Route 25, uh, but that's above that's above Cerulean City, so that's that's a good ways. It's a good couple hours of gameplay into the game, and I'm trying to remember what kind of water stuff you get in Sword and Shield. I absolutely detest the water type starter. Though granted, I I don't like the water type starter for Scarlet and Violet either. So uh, it's just kind of like I would have to use them until until I could get something else. But at least. I, w I wonder, maybe I could make... Well, I don't want to do... I mean, I guess I could for a randomizer. I could take my... Um, my ROM hack and use it with the randomizer, and then that way I could just do water types with that, but... Again, there's no telling how long it would take to get a water type when your entire game is randomized. I'm not sure. I might need to do some thinking on that. Oh, here's Seafoam Islands. Okay. I think there's one more trainer over here. And then we'll make our way up to Celidon. Ugh. Man, this brings back memories of how irritating this HM shit was. I can't just walk up to the water and hit A and it'd be like, would you like to use Surf? Nope, I gotta hit Start, I gotta go to Pokemon, I gotta go to the Pokemon that has Surf and use Surf. A level 35, now we talking. I had fish for dinner, but you know what? Could use a little bit more. Some good protein. <laughs> she goes, Youch. <laughs> I don't think there I don't remember there being trainers in Seafoam Islands, so there's nobody to battle in there. I don't even think there was I don't remember if there was items in there or not. If there is, it'll be like um, Safari Zone. I'll look it up and I'll see if there's anything worthwhile. And if there is, I'll I'll get it. I'll get it off screen in my own my own time.
Oh, this is so slow, but it's the best way to go. And I still have to get a Pokemon with Cut out of the PC so that I can go get fucking Fly. <sighs> it's alright, though. It won't actually take as long as it seems like. The most annoying thing is just listening to this bike music over and over and over and over again. to deposit Kadabra and then I think Victory Bell had cut right I mean we had to have cut at some yeah you do okay what's up V Bell I kind of miss using a Victory Bell it's another one of those weird Pokemon that I like that I wouldn't go, oh yeah, it's one of my favorites, but I, I, I like it more than I dislike it. Did you say how unkind that was for that lady to move so I didn't have to fucking move? I felt like Bob Kelso. Where he's just like, I'm not breaking my gate, you better get out my way. <laughs> Alright, let's get out. We had Firo. We had Pidgeotto and Firo on our team. I guess... I think we kept F I think we kept Firo on the party in the party a little longer than Pidgeotto, so I think we'll use Pidgeotto because I prefer Pidgeotto, and because he didn't get as much um, screen time. And I mean, while I I like Pidgeotto better, I think it's a cooler. Pidgeotto and Pidgeot, they're better looking Pokemon, they're cooler, they're more fun to say, but in Gen 1, Firo is better, I mean, starting with Peck, and you know, it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but it's literally the fact that Gust is a normal type move, so your Pidgey, Pidgeotto, whichever, won't get a flying type move until you get wing attack, which I think is like 30 fucking 3. Whereas at least, um, at least Firo, or Spiro starts with Peck, and then you get Drill Peck and whatever else. It just, it just, it ends up being better 
I guess, in the long run. Um, even though I don't like it. Eh, well, whatever. Oh, my lord, stop. I'll just worry about depositing fly the next time. Uh, I guess when we get down to Cinnabar. <gasps> Look at the, the grass to the right. That's Professor Oak's garden. That's where you can catch more starters and really, really high-leveled Pokemon and Oh man, the rumors that were circulated around Gen 1. The, not only the rumors, but just the fact that you couldn't you couldn't fact check it with the internet. Like, it, man, it was a different time. It was a different time to be not only just a Pokemon fan, but just a video game fan. You didn't have to worry about shit getting spoiled, and... I mean, you just went into... Like, one of my favorite memories is... From before... Before Gen 2 was released. And I remember... There being just this little tidbit... Of... Info on the next Pokemon games, being gold and silver. And it showed this little screenshot of an area that I think is the route right underneath um, Violet City that's uh, after that dude lets you lets you go by and he gives you like the, the Miracle Seed or whatever. After you beat Faulkner. And it showed... It showed that little area. It showed... Um, Merrill, which is where everybody started, the peak of blue rumors started. And there was another Pokemon to show too. Maybe it was Hoot Hoot. And it just like it was just a different time. Like you just that little bit was enough to get you excited, especially because the games were fully in color. And which we got that in yellow version, but it was better color. It just. <sighs> it's just something you just... Something I, I I haven't really got to experience since. Like, Scarlet and Violet really brought out my love for Pokemon again. And that's why I liked the game so much. Sword and Shield didn't really do it for me. Gen 7 almost made me just lose interest in Pokemon. It just wasn't that fun after that. Um... But we did get the Let's Go Eevee games, which were amazing. I mean, yeah, everybody hated the, the Pokemon Go catch mechanic, but you take that away, and easily my favorite Gen 1 game. Of course, then people are like, but the graphic, the human... Di Shut up. Like, that doesn't make a game good. It's not just graphics. I mean, th that's why... <laughs> That's why with, you know, more people prefer the older Halo games than the newer ones. That's why more people prefer the older Star Wars games than the newer ones. Good graphics can only carry you so far. That and the younger generations and the people nowadays that are getting into Pokemon, it's like they can't even go back and play the older games because they're just like, Ew, it's ugly, it's ugh. And I'll admit, yes, they don't look as good as the newer games, but I still prefer the older games. I won't say they're better, but it's what I prefer. Just like with the TCG, I prefer the old Wizards of the Coast cards. Are they as shiny and pretty and nah? They're not. But uh, it's just what I prefer. I like the art style better. Nowadays, too, there's too many different, like, artists designing Pokemon cards and shit. Whereas there was only a handful back in the Wizards days, and that was just better. It was better, it was more consistent.
and there wasn't 18 different variations of the same card. Like the fact now that it's like, oh, you've got this, uh, this EX or GX or V or whatever it is. Oh, but then it's got a full art. Oh, but then it's also got a hyper rare. Oh, but then it's also got a seeker rare. Oh, but then it's got a special art rare that's a different picture. Oh, but then it's got a tin promo. And it's just like, stop. All right, Blastoise, back to back to being a boat. I imagine a Blastoise wouldn't swim. Like, you would just stand on it or sit on it backwards. And he would just, like, use Hydro Pump and just shoot water out of his cannons and just blast you forward. Or blast you forward, technically him backwards. That's how I imagine surfing on a Blastoise would actually be. Why is there a cue ball in the fucking ocean anyways? I just, I don't know why that, how the fuck you move, you miss this damn tentacle, right you? Like the cue balls are like, they're the ones that are up there on route, uh, 17 and 18 on cycling, or no, uh, 16 and 17 on cycling road with the, like the biker dudes. So what the fuck is he doing in the damn ocean? Oh, he's got a tentacruel. It looks disappointed. Now it looks extra fried. God, Rachi's 45 now.
This is like our trip to Cinnabar is like the Raichu Chronicles. Well, it sucks because it means we probably won't use Raichu much after we get done with the all the the water. But if we absolutely need to use an electric type, then we can let him battle every now and then. I hate how the fucking I know it's supposed to be like a like a seal or a dugong that it, the the surfing sprite. There's Starmie, I love it. Starmie's Gen 1 sprite, I like it, but it doesn't really especially because it's all like the blue tone. It doesn't really show off its its majestic purple and the, the tips aren't as spiky. But I still love Starmie. But the fucking, the little surf thing, when you're looking down, when you're going down, it's basically looking at the screen, it looks like a drowning chance. <laughs> I don't know who designed it to look like that. Why does it look like a chancy from the front? Because <laughs> you can see the little tail, so clearly it's supposed to be like a, a seal or a dugong. I'm so glad, I was glad that they changed it in Gen 2 and they made it Lapras. It at least made more sense. Oh, that's the same dude. Okay. I wonder if I wonder if that's why in Pokemon Journeys, Go is like we can catch a dugong to surf on. Maybe that's supposed to be like a throwback to Gen One when your surf Pokemon, your surf sprite was a dugong. I'm sure I'm giving the writers for Pokemon Journeys absolutely way too much undeserved credit. It would be cool, but I doubt most people would get it. Hell, I didn't even think of it until just now. Raichu's level 46. I love that his attack, speed, and special are staying exactly the same. They're at 110 now. Fucking Christ. Wow, that tentacle lived. <sighs> now we're stuck in rap. Boo doo 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 ba da ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba Cedra's a cool Pokemon, but I it, it, see it's weird because like Cedra's supposed to be super spiky. Be a spiky seahorse. But in this sprite it just looks so like smooth. It's really weird. But I mean Gen 1 sprites were just weird in general. 